I'm tired as I am tired right now. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm, I'm recording. I'm tired as hell. Just letting them know. So we're just out here. Um, we're just gonna be talking about the breaks right now. I don't got a ton of energy inside me right now. I went to sleep late last night. You need night. vitamin D. Nah, man, it's sunny as hell, fool. Well, anyways, man. Uh, so we're just gonna talk about my stop tech rotors, um, and I'm gonna show my car off. What do you think, Trey? What you think about my brakes? You notice any difference? Like a little bit, I, I'm like, if I'm being honest, just a little bit, because it's not my car, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. like, a, a little bit. So, shout out to Grayson, you faded me up a bit. If you're local, go check out GT Blessed on Instagram. But anyways, did you want to stay low key about it? So this was recorded way before the coronavirus. Yeah. Anyways, that's besides the point. Look, check this out. <laughs> so my brakes, they're great. They're wonderful. I like them. Uh, they were a bitch though. It was like going to war when we did it. Yeah, so it was raining and shit and it yeah, fucking, we needed yeah, it. Y'all saw the video, it was raining. So pretty much uh the brakes, they definitely feel a lot. I, I could feel the difference a lot more just because the current the previous brakes before that was uh they, they were, were worn trash. out. They were worn out. The pads were done. It was every time I'd uh apply pressure on the brake pedal Go while on. I'm on the highway, it would violently shake. I don't know if y'all could realize, but the video is a little bit more stable now because I have a stabilizer, I have a gimbal. Which is, it's the, the Crane V2, just in case y'all are uh, curious, to, you know, which, which stabilizer I'm using. And it works really good because the camera has no body stabilization. So this thing pretty much cancels out all the, all the uh, like shaking, you know. When, when you run, it will, it will be really <clears throat> still. Exactly. Like you could be running and, and it's and, crazy. It's just crazy. So, uh, yeah, here I'm going to just show the car off. I'll, I'll show the brakes. On the car. Can me to hold uh, it while you do that? I'm a. Can you change the mode? Yeah, I'm trying to change the mode. Alright, well, this thing is being fucking retarded. Oh my gosh. We're having, we're having technical difficulties. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Do whatever. Okay. Go get a bag of chips right now. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see, but these are the brakes. These are the discs right here, the rotors. These are uh, drilled with slots or slots and holes or whatever. I don't fucking know how to say, but you know what I mean. These are made by StopTech. I got StopTech brake rotors and pads on all four wheels. Right here, you can see the front brake discs. These are the biggest ones. So these definitely help a lot. Definitely, definitely help. Can you show me? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. I'm out in the shade right now. So the, the brakes, my last ones were terrible. So that's another reason why I see such a huge difference because I pretty much had no brakes on my car versus these. So these brakes are definitely a lot better than my stock ones. Um, and they just, they stop on a dime. And what I like about them is, it's not like other cars, you know how when you're riding in a car and you uh, just tap on the brakes a little bit and it's super sensitive, like it's overly sensitive, like this whole entire generation, uh, you know, <laughs> basically, it's annoying when I try to drive like my sister's car, like she has a uh, camera, I think she has a camera, or Corolla, I don't, I don't know, because I don't care about those cars. You know, I, I step on the brake just a little bit and it just goes like, it just wants to stop and it's super annoying when I'm in stop wheel traffic. With this car, what I like about it is, uh, I don't have to like, you know, I could ease into the brake. So if I'm in stop and go traffic, I can gently, I can gently tap on the brake and it'll stop the car. But like if I'm if I'm driving on a track, for example, and I really need to stop or I'm on a highway and I really need to stop, I could press down just a little bit more and then it'll grip on really tight and it'll stop hard. So I've gone pretty high speeds with this car. I'm not gonna exactly say what kind of speed I hit, but I've gone pretty fast with the car, so you know, it can stop pretty good. The, the brakes are pretty good. I think it's a good, it's a, it's a good brake upgrade, and it helps with cooling since it has those little holes that, that are uh, drilled into the rotors. And it's, it's, it's affordable. And if you plan on tuning your car, you should definitely get new brakes. And if you do, get stop tech brakes. So yeah, I definitely recommend it if you're on a budget and you can't get yourself those, you know, three thousand dollar brakes like M, 
brakes or a Brembo, you know, and get just get your uh, basic uh, drilled and slotted rotors by uh, stop tech, get new pads. You can get Bosch pads, carbon ceramic pads if you don't want dust. You know, team, uh, you know, you pair it up with that, and and this car will be perfect. You know, my car is stock right now, and it drives amazing, and the brakes help it out a lot more. So I definitely recommend you get it. You know, when I first installed them, they didn't feel all that great, but then I wore them in because it has that protective layer on it. You know, it has that silver protective layer. It's kind of gray. But then once that rubs in, or it rubs off, and the, the, the brakes actually break in, then, you know, the car is going to stop really well. It's a pretty ugly-ass car. Yeah, it's a pretty ugly car. <laughs> I just washed it, like, uh, two days ago, and there's a bunch of pollen and dust all over it, I guess. It's kind of annoying. So yeah, my car is coming together. You know, I fixed the headlight, replaced the brakes, I replaced the axle, and I'm probably gonna need to replace it again because the boot broke, and I drove it over time without knowing that the boot broke, and then over time, the axle folds when you drive it. So yeah, car, I cleaned it, it's in good shape. And that's really all I gotta say. This video isn't too exciting, just kind of giving my thoughts on it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Trey's just kind of showing it off. Paul, Paul and Loki looks good on your car, not gonna lie. I don't know if you guys can see. But anyways, Let's get uh, little clips. That's the that's the end of this video. That's the end of this video, and I uh, hope y'all enjoy it. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Um, so this is just really ex an explanation video, not really us fucking around and recording our friend's call. We do have more content coming, more footage. Uh, I'm trying to get my hands on an M4. I'm trying to meet up with someone and do a review video on that. And then I have another friend with an R32 Skyline. So I got more videos coming along uh, and the grind just doesn't stop. I'm trying to do two. I'm trying to uh, put up two videos a week now. But yeah, guys, please like and subscribe. If you, please no, get the word out. If you enjoy the video, like and subscribe. Yeah, okay. If you enjoy it. But then I'm then just saying. Around. Give us that like button. It really helps us out. I hope you liked it. I know it wasn't really like a funny, dumb shit douchebag one, but it was just kind of one of Daniel's breaks, you know? And we're just, just low on just energy. Just a video to get up there, yeah, yeah that we're, too. We're low on energy, man. I'm trying to change my sleep schedule for a different job, so yeah. I'm pretty tired right now. I went to sleep at like 2 last night, so. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the video, and like and subscribe, and yeah. All right, guys, I'll catch y'all later. See you.